Although, we have killed many of them, though. Like, an awful lot of them have died. I'm trying to like, space them out a bit if I can, but I don't know if it's going to really work. Only half the enemy force remains. I may have to march north of Halmir's army and retake this place because not even. Crap, that, that unit's dead. The last Antwerp cavalry will fall, unfortunately. There's just too many Dunlendings here. There's too damn many of them. The Noldor really need to start hitting them because right now nothing's happening. God. The Long Spears are just too powerful. Maybe not the stats of the Long Spears. Not even that good. It's just the Pikes. We just can't get past the Pikes. It really is an issue there. Right, we have to try a new strategy. Now get up to the walls. I'm gonna pull Saradoc out. Oh, I think this is a this is the loss. I think we need to pull out. We need to pull our men out. Oh crap! You've gone to the walls. Oh, I shouldn't have put you on the walls. Oh dear. We killed 72%. It's not bad. But there's just so many of them. There's just too many. Alright, sorry. Pull them out. Pull them out. Gather. Oh, no, don't. Oh, God, where are you? I can see him there. Run! Do not let your son bury you just yet. You have work to do. The Druid and the fighting on to the very end. You can see him there. Run. Not die necessarily, man. Yeah, he is moving. Just about. Did he make it out? Nope. There, he made it out. As long as you get shot by the ballista, we should be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have to... Yeah, this. If I let him live, he will just die. <laughs> so, we're going to have to let him get out of there, I think. The Lou and Ain have fought with us very well, but they just... afraid. I <laughs> can't save them any longer. I will lose Saradoc, I will lose some my my who has decent archers. The Palmyr will not prefer to really bury his father. I mean the Dune might I don't know, it's unlikely, no. They've got the Downton Square is just too well defended. And Malak's just fallen as well. Yeah, it's over. We gave it everything, lads. We gave it everything. But unfortunately it just wasn't enough. Of battle seems to have turned yeah, I can see that. We must act and halt this. Our allies have fled the field like cowards. Yeah, it's over. My only hope is that we healed a few, but I don't think we did. They're just staying there, apparently. Hopefully they don't deploy too many cavalry. We are chasing down them, but some of our men did escape, thankfully. But God, Jesus, did we lose a lot of men? When you're healed, oh my God, it healed like thirty percent. That's so infuriating. Hmm. Annoying. We killed a lot of them, though. We did kill an awful lot. Still, thousand remain. God. Dunland just has so much shit to throw at me, don't they? Jesus. And losing that big army there just did not help. <laughs> We're not doing well at all. We really need to gather up our forces and start hitting them in their recruitment hubs. We really, really need to start bringing them down.
God, does London have so much? How can we beat that? That is crazy. We just didn't have enough infantry. If that was a field battle, we would have won easily. But we just didn't have enough infantry to do anything. The long spears, unfortunately, held so much land that I just couldn't. Some of our men did survive, but I may as well merge a few together. Doug Hall's fallen. Um, I don't. I imagine. I imagine he's been buried, um, <laughs> possibly in that burial mound. Maybe we uh, snuck into there after we ran away and uh, buried him there. That. Right. It's not good. Yes, Grandmaster Saradoc did hold on. Conqueror of Outford, who his son is also the Conqueror of Outford. They have got that going for them, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, at least at least we saved him, I suppose. That's the main thing. We killed a lot of them, though. A lot of them did still survive. But it's just <laughs> annoying. There's so many of them. Done and now, really, we need to get this this uh, but get military garrison up. We got one already, but I think we need an, need another one. We really are up against it now. They have just so, so much to throw at us. We have so little. Um, uh, Gondor's taken that, so hopefully now Isengard shouldn't worry about us too much. If Isengard hits us now, we're in serious issues. We're we're not going to be very strong if Isengard come for us as well. So, getting those garrisons on the front line is now the priority. I really hope we are going to win that. I thought we could do that. I really thought we could. I thought we'd... It's just the long spears. If the long spears hadn't have been the gateway, if they hadn't have been such a pain in the ass as they were, we would have absolutely won that. But we... Oh. No. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Isengard. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh, fucking Rohan, what are you doing? Ah, oh, that Doomstack is just a number in Rohan, doesn't it? I know it has. Goblin Zamora, you're not a goblin diplomat. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, oh, the Nolder, I need, I need the elves. The elves must come out of their homes, draw their swords, and start pushing into Dunham, for goodness sake. I don't care if they take land that I need. I, the fate of this bloody campaign is... Oh, fuck me. There's how many wants have they got? Oh, God. I mean, my hope is that potentially we might be able to hold that, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Heisenkard. Why? Why would you do this? Please. Oh, no. They're going to just... Oh, dear. It's war. Uh, Rohan, I just need... I need you. Rohan, please. <laughs> please come help me. Okay, let's gather our forces. We will muster up a force to invade push against now our enemies. Hey oh dear. Uh that's not good. I'm gonna have to leave an army there for now. But Barad Vin, look at the size of this army. If I can kill that, then the we can oh god, look how many men they've chucked in far bad. See if it's nothing. Right, they're almost certainly gonna come for Argon, so we are gonna have to defend Argon now and hope to the gods that we can beat them. I'll take some Barathin. Uh, yeah, I would love to. Um, we're a little bit... We're not in the best situation to really be taking Barad thingy right now. Yes. Uh, Herald needs a garrison up. But it's got his garrison. That's fine. Yes, my lord. With honor, oh, my god. Go more of them coming us to it. That's the unit I defeated, to be fair. About ten men. Your orders, my lord. Right, we're going to the men up. And then we're going to have to march on uh, Barathin with everything we have. Yes, uh, I think my ship, I think, I'm going to have to send down to... When the time comes, our ferrymen over across to Argon to reinforce. Hopefully. Please can turn 60 car a bit faster. Because <laughs> we really need more men. Oh, God. Done. Uh, the, the Isengard attacking us again. I said, if Isengard attack us, I'm going to go crazy. And they have just attacked us. And that is just really not good. We are yes, really in issues now. Isengard. I really need Gondor and Rohan to start pulling their weight. If I take the all tank, fine, but I just really need Isengard off my ass. Um, this is just not doing well at all. Three turns until that's done, so that will be okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do we do now? So I have anything that's on a recruitment thing, but I need buildings to be made. Uh, I don't think so. 
Can't build anything. Uh, that gets a unit of Dunham and Raiders, but they'll never turn up in the time. We're in the turn and I'll wrap the episode off there. Well, I might go record some Erebor and then I'll wrap up today's recording. Well, recording today, which has been short. <laughs> it's been this evening and uh, the next evening because I don't have to get up for work the next day. So I do have to get up, but not early. Right, Noldor. Right, Noldor. Come on. Come on. Start setting your full stack down in in the wrecking. God's sake, here they go. We get two units of defenders. That's just never gonna hold. I mean, I may as well fight it, but we just cannot beat that. Wyoming defenders. Uh, great. We may as well fight it. I mean, what have we got to lose? Not with the entire army. But we haven't got a lot to lose anyway, so we may as well try and kill as many as we can. Um, do we have towers? I think we do. Oh, do. No, actually, no, I don't think we do because this doesn't have towers. Oh dear. Look, the kinslaying of the elves. Uh, when everyone says the elves did no wrong, yet yeah, the elves slaughtered. Yes, yeah, no towers. So. Bugger. Let's <laughs> just say the least. Defenders, it's just. What do the defenders look like? We don't hardly ever see them. So this is defenders. So you, you don't ever really see very often, but they are here. They do appear. Right. I am not quite sure what the best situation is here. It's a pair of infantry than what I've got anyway, so... Tout is the best. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> the feathers are actually better than what I've got. Yeah, let's have a look at Isengard's force, I suppose. Long, fucking long spears. I hate long spears so much after that battle. I do not like long spears. The raiders looking pretty fearsome. Clan spearmen, Urukai archers. And then, of course, the back is the bodyguard, which we're never going to kill. Um, even if we kill that, that, all those guys, the bodyguard is just absolutely rape us and into Curses. submission the and we're getting our out. Gates. Great. The Rain should hopefully help. The gates. Here they come. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense or all will be lost. Come on, ready. I'm ready. Face my fate. What is saying first? The the building remnants of Am Athelwold. I haven't heard that unit. No, it's a clan spearman. We're always just swarming to the town. Hold that for now. Kill a fair few to spin, but then the raiders are about to turn up, so that's gonna be. Oh, that's not gonna be good. It's like I think I just sent that spin in to die, pretty much. Oh, that guy just got slain immediately. Good god. <laughs> It must have been too bad to be fair. No, they're sitting there. More men. The archers are coming in. Which is not good. Bodyguards coming up. That's not good. The feat seems almost certain. The raiders are going to be it. We kill their spearmen, that's good, but there's only like five, like 20 of them or something like that. Oh my god, he comes to bodyguard. Dude, good god. <laughs> it's over. The bodyguards turn up, they're going to rip through us like it's like. Are they armor piercing the bodyguard? I can't remember. No, they're just pretty high stats. Thank god they're not armor piercing, otherwise we'd be fucked. 
If we can kill their general, then that will be absolutely fantastic, but we're not going to. Um, where is their general? No idea. The long spear is just fighting through us, apparently. Seems almost certain. And the Reavers are in, so get some armor. That's gone. And the bodyguard. Yeah, the bodyguard is just so powerful. Pull back. If you can, just just fight for a bit until you can. Long spears are oh, a pain in the ass. Did kill that guy though. Well done. <laughs> Clansmen. What was that general? Was that him? I'm not sure where that general was, unfortunately. Oh, did Tauter any good? Oh, they're all, hang on, effective against armor? What are you doing? Get him into the combat, Jesus. I didn't realize they're effective against armor. Christ, get him into the battle, Jesus. Oh, there's the bodyguard. Oh, if you can kill the general. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely kill the general. Son of anything else, the bodyguards come first. Oh, there's the general. Come on. Pack him with the fucking axe. Go on! Kill their general. I can take some comfort in this battle if we actually kill their general. Not for his armor. Oh, they're abandoning their general. That's fantastic. Excellent. Let's focus on him. Oh crap, the turn around. The turn around! Oh crap! Keep hacking him with your axe, lads. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, guys. Try and kill that general if you can. Oh, it's going to be over. Oh, come on. Our foolish general oh, he's died. The general's gone. If we can kill that captain, uh, general rather, then that would be great. It's one less general. No, he's getting. Pull back. Nah, I think it's over. No. Our men have fought long and have it's over. Tired. We fought well, but we killed Fabus, and that's not bad, but we just died. This defeat is a yeah, we lost. To we killed 120 of them, that's not bad. Oh, God. Hate the healing thing. You think, oh, you've killed loads of people, and then they just heal with like, so. Everything, everything you've done has just been for nothing. Uh, <laughs> this episode has been also almost for nothing, hasn't it, really? We've lost the battle of Farbad. We, we did reclaim Alkford and kill its bandits, but... So minor, really. Alkford fell. And the stupidity of Alkford form was roughly ridiculous. But we've retaken it now. Uh, we lost Dunyard to fucking Isengard, who have returned from the shadows. I knew peace with, with them just wouldn't last, but I was hoping... <laughs> I shouldn't have hoped, but I was hoping that maybe peace could have lasted a bit longer, but unfortunately not. And Isengard have taken more. <laughs> oh dear, I don't. I, I really don't need to be dealing with them. Is there a way I can get maybe peace with Dunland or something or other? Just, just, just to fight one at a time. I, I don't know. <laughs> Attempts to adopt for the actual general, but I'm not going to. Lothlorin under attack. You're not going to get any aid by me. What's going to Fornos? That's probably the Angmar I'm doing that, I imagine. Stopping here. Ah, so it begins. <laughs> uh, here we go. I had feared this would come. Eredun have declared war on Kazadum. Oh, no, they broke a lot. Oh, they declared war on the elves. Yeah, so that's going to be great. Get some roads though, that's, 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 that's good. We're getting roads, that's something. Orders, my lord. Um, just have movement points to go back on the ships. 
Um, can't retrain anything. Great. <laughs> uh, Karath no leads. I fear I... Uh, oh my good god. Where did that come from? What in the gods did that appear from? How have they got Daphne men? <laughs> oh god. I don't actually know if we can even win this campaign, to be honest. Let's get a ballista maker and we need a ballast. Oh, that's, that's a solid. That's useless. Now, get the... Get a smoking house, get some key fi. Um, Bregost. Are oh, you finished with Rose, didn't you? Herbalists. Uh, more men. Found border guards, please. Uh, what else was I building? Was it just that? Apollon. I forgot about you. Oh, you can build a way station. We can retrain them, but we don't have any TK recoil, unfortunately. Uh, when we do have TK recoil, good god, well, the. War of against Angmar would be uh, Isengard would be a doddle almost. Uh, let's get some more uh, more tag. Yeah, I mean the Javans are quite useful. Let's so we'll grab some of those. Just build up militarily. We can't afford to not build up militarily. We have no other choice. Erelun, no, this is when Erelun attacks me out of fucking nowhere. That's gonna be the next fucking thing. I'm probably gonna go insane. Okay. I don't have time to retrain the cells, unfortunately. Um, do we leave a general behind and risk his death? Probably not a good idea. When we build the market, get the militia garrison, then we need to re reinforce Alkford. Uh, Ongas is a really good bodyguard. I need the best I've got. I really can't afford to leaving decent generals behind. With honor, assembling a mighty host. Yes, my lord. We're combining forces to battle. If we can take Baron Vin, I then that then that's good. Far bad I feel we'll just have to wait. We just need I need more men. I need the Noldor to get out of this bloody place, march south and start fighting the Dunlendings. Sitting here and sitting here not doing much. Just letting the goblins grow stronger and stronger and stronger does not help anybody. So stop sitting there doing nothing, Noldor. Get out of your bloody city. Stop pretending nothing, everything around you doesn't exist. I need your men. Just do something with them, please. Your orders, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow. All right, we get a watch down then, I suppose, while we're here. This tower will keep That's a decent army. We've got Halmir, Gamber again, Fionghan, Ongas, Melmadoc, and Coraline. I could give, obviously, Melmadoc maybe some of the traits that what's his face had, but I'm not bothered. Um, that's fine. I'll place them all together. Which means we have nine then, but I can disband them if I want better men. Saradar and Eckhart in the north with some men. We can send them south to give us a hand against Barad Vin. Um, if we can take Barad Vin, then that would be great. That would be grand. They have decent stuff here as well. We can probably use. Um, hopefully, the Noldor will come help do something. Maybe push against Isengard would be great. Probably won't, though. Um, they have a quite the underfaring army there. If I could, be, if I didn't have my house rules, I'd build more men, but I can't. So that again, as you can see, it's the house rules is, is limiting us. It's despite having loads and loads of money, we can't just build stuff any willy nilly with the recruitment. Um, we can't, we can't run any more men. This is our lot. Such is the price for cheating, um, and that is what that, that is why if I was going to do the cheating, not to worry about the economy way of the game, and that is what I would have done. I've absolutely gone ahead and chucked in and the money cheats and then give myself a load of really hard great game breaking rules to make the game even harder. Um thinking about it, I might even go for the militia guild house, Mason's guild house, but then it just gets the stuff built quicker. And that's what I'm all about. Yeah, I know I said the Mason's Hall would give us too much of an advantage, but I feel as if we just need every... We need the advantage, we really do. I can't build anything now, that's fine. What's this best we're going to get? Uh, Herald's right on the border, but then the Mason's Hall would help, so I don't know. I know I said I wouldn't build a mason hall because it gives me too much of an advantage, but at the same time, I don't have much of a choice. Uh, 
Uh, so, Deary, you have to get your mason tools in. We can build the roads afterwards. I'm not in a rush. I don't know, I've already got the master mason's hall there, you can carry on building that then. Do I need the port? Probably not. But yeah, the mason halls will help us get the stuff around. I think in this situation, we're in a def definite sort of like, yeah, we need help. <laughs> kind of thing. Approaching quietly. Approaching so it seems far better done than uh, they have the biggest armies. Dunlorak. I think Baru didn't have much for the garrison. Um, I think most of the main armies are in Farbad and in Barad Vin. If we can take Barad Vin, that'll kill these war other armies, and Farbad is then the next one. I think honestly, if we take Farbad again, I'm going to start it out because that is a mighty garrison, and uh, I'd also fear one, two, three, four, five. Um. No, it won't be quite close to the. They won't get a doomsday until we take any of. Until we take, yeah. Um, if we can lure, if I maybe if I do attack by, I can lure the army of Farbad out, and then maybe an arm second army up here can strike at Farbad if their army leaves. But then that siege towers are so powerful, and I'm really struggling. It's because Dunland have no. Well, they do have our enemies. Alright, but they're not. They're just focusing all must, unfortunately. Hopefully Dunlin just fights then. So you have other enemies, yet you're just attacking me. It's really annoying. Uh, but anyway, I think that's all for today's video. <laughs> um, we are we have had some success in taking out Ferd and uh, killing some rebels and stuff like that. But now we struggle with, of course, the arrival of now. Isengard have broken a peace agreement. Surprise, fucking surprise. The Warriors are done and continue to prove their valour by defeating us at Farband, killing more of my best generals with the best cavalry in the entire game in my, that I've got available to me. Um, that's a huge blow to us. Obviously, I could reload, trying maybe not assault Farband, but I mean, it, it's set in stone. I'm not going back on myself. We've, we've, we will suffer the consequences of our failure and we shall move on. Um, we still got Saradox. Saradox got his dub sheath there. It's still pretty damn good. He's got nine experiences. Oh, uh, yeah, nine experiences as well, which is also pretty good. So dub sheath forest is not bad. And Ekon as well is pretty good. He's got the dub sheath elders, which can inspire our men, so they're quite good. So, we're not. We still got decent generals. I mean, we've got all those guys down here. Like, we've got Helm here with his uh, aunt wife uh, guardsmen, which, which are very good. Uh, Druid and Hunters with Gambir again, who aren't bad. Fionghan has his Mordak skirmishes, which is pretty good. Ongas has his Makanian backstory. Melbanok has the Fine Warriors. And also, um, Kuraline has the Airpipe Marksman. So we've got pr decent stuff. So it'll be better once we defeat Dunlan. But for now, we just need to deal with this Isengard. I'm hoping Isengard's just stick at Dunyard and not push on me anymore. But I would like the, the garrison sooner, sooner or later, really. Um... But we did we did kill a lot of them. We we can I feel it's possible to hold off an attack if we fight well. Um, so I'm gonna just get the military garrison in straight away. Um, we can't afford to wait. Um, our end of turn. We will do one last turn and then we will conclude the episode there. It's a bit longer than normal, but the battle of Farbad now were well, obviously quite important battles, despite the fact that we lost the battle of Farbad. <laughs> but other than that, we <laughs> we been fine. Yeah, Dunlin, I'm sure Dunlin must be on the edge of their economy breaking. They just, they, surely now they must be really struggling. Oh, Isengard's coming. Do they want peace? Or have they just come to bribe Karras? They've come to bribe Karras. Great. Because that's really useful. No idea. I think the AI is trying to bribe your summon, but the bribe thing is disabled. So I don't know what the hell that means. No idea. Uh, Fenris Druid has been assaulted. Great. Uh, Bile's got a fucker with it. Oh, God, they're getting more men. They're literally... It's like I'm fighting Mordor. They're running in men out of their asses. Jesus. What is this? I can't... <laughs> How are they doing this? Yes, my lord. I don't even know if we can even beat the army. We have a little choice. We must march in there. With honor, 
We can go no further, my lord. Um, and, do you know what? In fact, I'm going to bring this entire army down. I will leave... Uh, what's the most shitty, crappy external unit I can leave? Um... Leaving all my generals is almost definitely suicide. I'll leave the Corsairs. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Ships ready. Oh, come off it! Oh, so stupid. You're like right fucking next to them. Oh, God. They don't mind if I just do... Because you're literally right next. <laughs> I don't mind it. Fair enough, I'm a, I'm a fair few tiles away, but in this situation, yes. I'm right next to them. Uh, just let me in the army. Orders, my yes, my lord. Okay. Orders. Your orders, my lord. Um. Yes, my lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Your one, two, three. Lord. I need to take six out. No, I don't. Yes, I, I can't even fit them in. Actually, that's we just put them in, in the Biden. Your orders, my lord. If they come in conflict, they should be fine. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's such a bug. I don't know why that happens. It's just definitely a bug. But I'll take it. Um, Alright, Isengard, will you give me peace? No. Yeah. No. Rubnak should be dead. We all we were so close to killing him. If one of them, if they keep fighting a bit longer, we might have probably killed their general, but we didn't. Uh, Londair still stands. Not with us. Um... Yeah. It's a little dodgy situation, this, isn't it, really, with Air Wi Fi? I fear. <laughs> I do fear that this campaign may uh, not be a win because we are really up against it. I I just. I don't know. If Rohan can have taken lost the Adorn Veil, actually. That's not good. Uh, Gondor's still here, so Gondor, that's good. Haven't taken Helm's Deep, though. Gap of Rohan's been taken by Isengard. Isengard are now starting to spread out. They're starting to get more men. It's the same with Dunland. They'll be getting more and more and more troops. And the Noldor are doing nothing. We're doing a quick dog of foe, I suppose. But just to see what the hell's going on now. The Yeah, look at this. This, this just infuriates me so much. But the Noldor are going to have a full stack of forces. And what are they doing? Nothing. They're just sitting here with a massive army doing sod bloody all. Just watching me die. Watching the elves get attacked by the dwarfs, watching the goblins just spread out and beat the crap out of Casa Doom, like they're just doing nothing. Even Casa Doom, yes, has got an army out, but they're not even doing anything. I mean, yeah, they're they're fighting a decent battle against the goblins who are holding back. Lord Gildor's a faction. Oh dear. Oh dear. What's happened to? Oh god. What's happened to the the twins? Um, have they been killed? Uh, Fair's Dream was under attack earlier. Um, it's still holding. That's good. Um, now the obviously the dwarfs have come for the high elves, which is very interesting. I don't know where they've attacked them from. Um, to know where have they attacked them? Um, <laughs> I don't know actually. Have they? The elves strike the first blow potentially with the blockade of a ship, maybe? No, I don't know. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what the uh Come and get me, you what they've done there. I don't know who they've attacked or maybe they did attack them and the elves repelled them, I don't really know. Pickle Delvin's upgrade. That breeze about to take all weather show. I uh, I can't get any as long as they don't take Dolphorn, that's fine. I'm happy for the Brewlands to take the Call cool Withershaw. I don't mean it's, it's not part of my. It's the remnants of Arthur Dane. My tribe's taken by the Dane, that's expected. Coloniac. Coloniac's still not taken. I might nick that if we could. <laughs> Just why not? Um, but right now, Dunland really is coming for us with everything they have. Um, uh, Cabin Bryn still holds against anyone. Nobody's taken that. Uh, Gildor looks lovely like Elrond. Is an honor. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> That's curious. But yeah, the Noldor again. <laughs> I don't know if it's because they're a new faction. Oh god, they're going to take Fenris Rune the way it looks. I don't know if it's because they're a new faction, but maybe Fingon, if you're watching. Uh, I doubt it. It's not really your thing. 
But if you're watching, think on, uh, get the elves to do something. <laughs> get the elves to come help. Just get them to do something other than sit in there in the settlement and do nothing. That army, they could send south and beat the crap out of Bayrou. Or Farber. They could do so much with that army that they're just not doing it. Uh, I know I'm cheating here, but i not bother. Um, yeah, Isengard. Oh, they've stopped sieging. Oh, look, that army needs to get killed off. And Rohan is now gaining the upper ground. They're taking Fangorn. That's good. Um, oh, wow. Gondor. <laughs> Gondor, lads. Oh, that's, that's fantastic to see. Gondor's really coming now. Hopefully they just they push on Durwap, but that I doubt, doubt they will. <laughs> yeah, Gondor's really coming now. Isengard are on their way out. They're off. They're gone. Um, they left a general one there stupidly, but hopefully this army buggers off south to fight uh, back Rohan and Gondor. They're the threat to Isengard more than me. I'm got done to worry about, but Dunland really it just seemed to see they have their big two armies here, and once they go down, then apart from the Doomstack that will appear. They will be a pain. I'm hoping this elven army comes actually might possibly fight them and it might jerk the elven reinfor elven guy the Noldor to come and help. Uh all your armies been attacked. Let maybe let's try and fight them, but I just just not doing a lot, which is annoying. That's Captain Helmir. Um but yeah, we'll go on Baradvin next. That'll be the next battle. Um far bad, I don't know. <laughs> we'll leave it for now. Um but yeah, uh, not a lot going on in the Gondor. How's Mordor doing actually? That's interesting. Not not much progress has been made. Chris Nax on the other side of the river. Above than that though, oh, Rohan's coming over. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rohan's coming to Gelebrin. Good lord. Rohan's done quite well. They're taking Tyr of Anduin. They've pushed the Rockburg. Haven't taken Edric Khan. Uh, Dolgador seem to be quite strong. Rhineon. Uh, the elves are not doing too great. I know I'm cheating, but... I like to have a little look at what's going on in the world. In Empire as well. Uh, Empire Total, you can you can look over. You can't actually see all the armies and stuff like that, but you can see like what, who's got what settlements or whatnot. So I like that. Uh good to bad. Again, not really my issue. Um King Mazog's out here though. Getting more and more men. Torfalin. Dom has arrived. Excellent. <laughs> well Nazanar's not been taken by anyone. I thought that gets taken by the Gundabad in the Orc expansion. Or maybe, maybe not. Or maybe it fell to Rebels. I don't know. No, it wouldn't have done. I don't know. But there's a few Rebel summons and 36 turns in and there's a few Rebel plays that haven't been taken. Edward and been the Court Paladins. That'd be quite good in your resolve, I imagine. But Salfus hasn't been taken, obviously. And the Caribbean never gets taken because I think there's a Mumaku inside of that, if I remember correctly. The Ard Naim and Haradrim are having a bit of a race to get over there, I suppose. Reminds me of my race I did with my cat earlier. I was trying to shut the conservatory because if she's, it gets too cold if you leave the door open for a while. Because um, obviously it's linked to the outside. So I have, I basically ran to go shut the, the door. And, well, I'm telling something taken. And uh, Bella just chased, just started running alongside with me, to, I think, to try and get in the conservatory. To try to try and get in there before it gets shut because my cat loves that room, uh, but it's, it's too damn cold unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, she just runs to get in there, and um, <laughs> we had shut. Then I just I basically ran to try and shut the door before she got in. I, I managed to beat her to it. I think she got stuck between under the table, I so which is good. The Brinland seem to be going off to the Barrow Whites. They're taking Mangal and that's good, but the Barrow Whites. Out of the field, Bree might maybe push. Oh, they won't, no. It's the Duodine that need to push and done them, but they won't because they've got the Angmarim to fight. Whereas Breland, we're in their way. They're, we don't, they don't border at Dunland at all. So Breland are pretty much safe. Good lucky for them. But I thought Erid Lewin's going to probably come for Breland at some point. Um, they are going to be... I don't know how much of a pain they'll be, but I can see myself maybe helping them let everyone find the dwarfs, maybe. That could be a decent, uh, interesting shout. But the problem is, um, my Erebor campaign, I'm going to be fighting the dwarfs in that anyway, and the Erebor Loon, because they've gone evil. Um, so, we'll see. I definitely want to focus on Dunland, Isengard. They're my main priorities. Uh, maybe Moria, potentially, but uh, Austin the Phil, they're in the way. Nolder are in the way. I'm not really bothered. It's up to them to fight the uh, Moria. I'm not going to bother. Um, 
And uh, I guess we'll see what happens in North. If he gets quite bad and Angmar seems to be becoming much more powerful, then we may have to march North and offer aid. Um, I still would like the idea to go down and maybe attack Umba <laughs> as Ed's wife. I think that would be good fun. So maybe we'll look to do that. That might be like a little end seek, end part of the series. He's very Roman, isn't he? Mundimir. Very cool. And Prince Adrahil there. Out in there. Usually he sits in um, to hammer off for ages, but he's actually come out to lead the armies, which is good. Excellent to see. Uh, Dharmov pushing now against... Uh, I do not seek trouble. I can't remember, did the... I don't think they've had their event yet, but I think... Yeah, Candace there at war with, her, with her, uh, Gondor and Darmroth. Um, the winning is not doing too bad. Come up against Dog or Dawn now, but they've got a decent enough, enough army to beat them. Uh, runes... Uh, they've taken less, it's not bad. Vine Regent Harwin's on the front line as well, that's pretty cool. Nice. That's cool to see. Yeah, runes getting pushed a fair bit. I've got a big full stack going what looks to be towards the dwarves. But I think they that might be an even battle there. But yeah, anyway, not cheating. And enough, enough going on with through the episode there. Or do we carry on a little bit longer just because yes. I'm I could just cut the video in half. I may I'm gonna do that. And then I'll go to bed after this and I'll just record Arable tomorrow. Because it's getting late. Yeah, uh, well. <laughs> 35, part, well, midnight, 30, uh, 12, 35. Yeah, fine, I'll just split this video in half. And do Farba as a separate bit. <laughs> Isengard, come for peace. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to peace right now, but I really w would wish they wouldn't fight us, but I don't think Isengard, Isengard isn't fully on us. If they were fully on us, we'd be dead. But thankfully, they've got Rohan Gondor. We're okay. Your orders. Yes, my lord. Anyway. Yes. To battle. Your uh, orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. I'm in that sort of situation where I need yes. every available man that I have on the battlefield. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. My lord. Who's? Yes, um. My lord. No, Saradoc is better, that's fine. Your orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. Assembling a Yes, my lord. Yes. As you command. Four turns, oh my god. <laughs> right, Barrett's been I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I'm gonna get three rams just in case. After what we dealt with at Farbad, I want a decent actual stuff. Unfortunately we didn't sink him. We are victorious. That's shame. Oh, we've got lots of buildings to build. We do that. Uh, yeah, Isengard. I wouldn't say no to potentially peace with Dun. No! Oh, thank God. Still got quite the garrison. <laughs> in, in AGO, you can do that and not die. I. High Elves? Oh, no, the Air of <laughs> Yeah, fight them. That'd be handy. All the fashion airs in there, actually. They have a family tree, so we could maybe take him out via regicide, but. Where's my diplomat gone? Yes, my lord. Approaching their dignitary. We shall listen to your proposal, but do mm. not expect much. That's. I do not believe oh. another oh, I promise. <laughs> I know if we do the. Because we're not really meant to have all that money, but. Oh, I don't. Uh, Dunland is so powerful. If we can get a piece for now, but it won't. It just won't last. It's good to see another proposition. We're happy to listen. I am not no. quite an honor and a pleasure. Farewell. Well, they don't hate us that much, so I must say they don't really. No, oh, they just sound very. They sound very pleased. Probably so they gave my map information. Uh, two people, too many people will be up in arms if I do that and use the money to get them and cease fire. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's too, uh, it's just too, I don't, I don't know. The garrison's up. We will go ahead and get the, um, 
Never tell me you never do that. Uh, Bregos, you are the error doing this miles away. They're never going to get down to South very tight anytime soon. Uh, mines, could do mines, herbalist. Uh, probably land clearance, and we can work on that later on. I don't think we need a garrison, really. I can't. Oh, Christ. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. No, that garrison's. Oh, no. What? I need to. No. Where, where is the army gone? Sorry, I'm cheating again. Oh, God, no. Please don't attack my shit. God, I hate it. I do that. Hey, yeah, I leave the settlements. It's like, oh god, no. No, oh, that's not good. Please don't go for Alkford. <laughs> not another. Not Alkford again. Alkford's had too much done to the place. It's been hurt too much. Uh, Fisherman's Guildhouse gives us a lot of. Oh, culture increase bonus, population growth, naval recruitment cost. That's not bad. Very cool. We've got the fish rig. Um, the lawn, I feel as if we're safe enough to think, yeah, they're not going to get attacked, so. Um, let's get our border guards. I'm not too worried about ships too much. Again, we can't build anything anyway, so I'm not really bothered, but ships, not too worried. A lot of Angrens getting a, I didn't build the Master Masons, so I need that for. Build that first, so I'm not too worried about the port that much, really. Ah, Karis and Aled got your... Are you at the high tier of Mason's Hill now? I think you are. I think Karis and Aled is safe enough to not get attacked, but... The famous last words... I can already get the border guards. What's the difference if I get them? Do, do I get more? No, it's, it's nothing really at all. I don't have any recruitment slots in Karis now. I should probably build recruitment slots. Could do that. Mm. So it's such a while till we get to 60 turns, though, until we can build a second more men, unfortunately. So we're going to hold on for now and hope that we <laughs> will hold. In a turn. Yeah, uh, that rebel army concerns me a bit. I don't really want to deal with them. I think it is mainly Saraline mercenaries. I think, but our archers could. That's the thing. We have our loads of archers, so although most of our archers died, but we still have quite a few archers, so we could redo really a number on our enemies. My my army of forty five was just too archer and cavalry archer heavy. It just didn't do enough. If I let them sally out, but then they would have got more forces, we would have been beaten, and then we would have lost the whole thing. And I don't know. The Bower Firebat was such a mistake, but it's a mistake we shall have to carry on. Hornburg seized. Aerodin's about to march on Dunland. No, they're not. <laughs> We're not all concerned about our rebel force, but hopefully... My lord, we doubt there is much you can offer us. No, we cannot. Mm. Good day to you. I might put a bit of stock in to get an ice guard to Ben, Ben and Eve, but join with us. Maybe you'll try not to, to murder us as much as they like to. Yes, my lord. Um, I might try and starve that out if I can. I will probably set up some watchtowers eventually, but for now we just have to hold off. Well, we can if they sallied out. Oh god, we yes. absolutely destroyed them with our archers and crossbows. I know it's cheesy. I know people dislike this, but I think actually sieging this plate, Baron Vin out, is actually the best way to win this. Come on, Lauren, give him what for. <laughs> Let me pass, you bastards. <laughs> the Dunlendons are just looking outside their walls, like what the fuck. <laughs> There's a dwarf and soldier army coming out, sitting outside, ready to fight. Come on, then, you bastards. <laughs> yeah, I think I like the dwarves, but I think in that situation, they will get annihilated. I'd rather them leave my lands and potentially attack my... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
Holmberg lost. God. Let's get under attack. They own holes of the siege. Oh dear. Loads of stuff has been built. Excellent. Um, yeah, the Holmberg's lost. Which. I thought I had loads and loads of men. Maybe they beat. Maybe they're all crap and they just beat them. Your orders. With trustworthy flaw, what lies do you bring me? Goodbye. I've done it. I've done it. just never accept it. <laughs> Damn you. Military garrison's coming. We've got the Mason's Halls. That's done. I know some people might just like that, but again, I'm playing how I play, so move on. Um. I don't think it changes if they already exist in the building. So, I don't know. Chicken farming, we get that next. And Karras, Karras is turning out quite well. Um, oh, I've turned our bit back to normal. I don't know, if I do low, it's giving me too much of a population increase. Well, normal, I think, is high just makes the place rebel. Although, actually, it makes sense to get high. It makes sense to get a high, uh, we get a nice little army here when the, when the time when turn 60 arrives, which will be, get yeah, quite a few troops I see, it. that'd be quite cool. Yeah, if I put them on taxes, so that way we don't get too much of a population increase, it makes the game a little harder, which I quite like. Uh, Karras led then, um... I don't know what to build actually in Karras and Um, probably some more men. Get some Talter up there. Yeah, they don't like me on any tax rate other than low, so that has to be low. Build a road in Sidera that should give us a nice bit of trade up in the north, which would be quite cool. Uh, Balorn then, you got your land clearance. I thought I built something in Ballon, didn't I not? Or was it the Mason's Hall being built? Must be. Was it built already? No idea. Um, I thought I built something in Ballon. I swear I built something. I guess maybe it's already been built, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's happened quicker than I thought. Uh, recruitment slots are only one. What's my culture like? Ooh, fair bit of culture on rest. Might worth getting a dream hall in them. I like to be I like building my building up bases and stuff like that. I, I enjoy that, that's fun. I like the I like being able to build up my stuff and whatnot. My lord. Approaching quietly. Yeah, so what I can see they're marching towards Bile. They know I'm coming. But yeah, if I can starve them out, that would be so helpful. Why well, we continue to repair ourselves against Isengard. We're on the turn one. We have to turn four in that, so 20 more turns till we can build ourselves some men, which will be welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to need some more men if we can have any hope in hell of beating back Dunland officially. Because even if I do a ceasefire, they will not just accept it. They, they even if it, yeah, if they accept it, they accept it. But they will come for us. They will not just leave us alone. Yeah, they are going to come. And from what it looks like, they're going to come try and stop us from taking thingy. Yeah, say everything they have. Hmm. Then my time is limited. <laughs> we probably need to march them quickly. Hmm. Can stay in a while. Let's go. Is it the Blue Wizard script, actually? Fosca. That's how is our family doing? Ah, Helmir's had four sons. That's four generals we get at some point. Vinian, um, who will become king eventually. Um, Sion, age five. Eckhard and Fosca. Cool. Four eventual generals would be nice. Excellent. My construction's complete. A land clearance. Can't remember. I should have read what settlement that was, but I didn't. Silly me. Ah, very ghost. Let me get me some talent over there, please. Thank you. Yeah, they'll be over there in the next turn. 
So I think we are going to have to strike and hit them at Baradvin. Um, the castle should be like Herod, so it should... Is it a slightly lesser? Not a belly upgrade. So it should be a bit easier to take. Okay. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident then we can eat our archers in there. We can absolutely annihilate them. Yes. We shall hear you out, but do not and can see, keep trying for a piece. Something else you'd like to suggest? I do not think you. Goodbye. No. We look forward to our next They'd like me a bit by giving them affirmation. So if I did it a few more times, it might lead to more fruitful negotiations, but I don't know. We shall see. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're ending this off here, then, and then this will be two episodes. So there you go. <laughs> It wasn't, I wasn't planning to do two episodes, but I guess it works out like that, so that's fine. Um, so, I won't need to record this for a little longer than that. So, when I come back from holiday, I won't have to worry too much about recording another episode of Aphamore. I can focus now a bit uh, on just the Targaryen... Well, the week, whenever this goes up to. So, I should have time to now focus a bit more just on an extra episode of the Targaryen Dynasty, and then eventually a Erebor and Great Britain and um, Wessex. Um, seri uh, episode. But as I say it out loud, it does sound like a lot of series, so I do wonder if I am going to cut down at some point. But I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to try and stick with the four day, with the five days as long as I can. But if it gets to the point where I'm struggling to keep up with it, I may cut it down to possibly four a week, uh, four episodes a week. Um, or what I may potentially do as well, so we can. Uh, maybe I might do like a week where one week is dedicated to, say for example, with the Wessex series, is, the Great Britain series concludes, which it won't yet, it's a long way to go. Let's say the Great Britain series suddenly concludes, uh, what I might do is maybe have a week, a two week schedule thing. When the first, what week one would be dedicated to two episodes of Athamore and two episodes of, say, Wessex for example. And then the next week would be dedicated to two episodes of Erebor and then two episodes of... Um, of course, the Targaryen Dynasty. Um, whether or not those episodes will both be all be both hours, I may I might slightly cut it down, maybe forty five, but if we're doing it like two a week. But we'll see um, how it goes. But then again, if we're doing that sort of schedule, we're also not going to have be doing as many of the um, what's the word? <laughs> we're also not going to be doing many of the hour. We're, we're also not going to be doing as many one video a week. So maybe maybe that might be quicker. I don't know. Um, I am contemplating it, but I don't know yet. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, the way that could work for five series is I could have just one series would just be uploaded one episode a week, uh, which would just be probably probably my personal series would be uploaded once a week. So maybe like one fantasy CK2 series and then one historical Turtle War series, like Great Britain and Targaryen Dynasty, and then maybe like. Uh, this like Athmore Erebor and then the um, Wessex as well could work alongside so that way you get a bit of fantasy you get one fantasy series so if I'm doing it like every two weeks something like that you'll get at least one fantasy series um, one CK2 fantasy series uh, and then you'll get something fantasy and something historical and at the same time and maybe we drop down to like so maybe two episodes like a week of something and then possibly and then possibly two weeks. Uh, yeah, that, that could work out like that, I guess. And just one series is just one week, uh, once a week thing. Um, but we'll see. I will see how it goes, I guess. Um, but that, but yeah, I like that the one series a week thing would be my personal thing. So that'd be Erebor. Like the personal series that I do. Because I've got my fantasy series, which is Total War series, which is this one. My fantasy CK2 series, which is Game of Thrones, uh, Targaryen Dynasty, and Jon Snow. Well, what's going to be Jon Snow? It'd be Targaryen Dynasty while you're watching this. Um... And my historical Sigur 2 one is Wessex. My historical Total War one is Great Britain at the moment. And my favourite sort of personal one is Erebor. So the personal thing is just basically whatever I fancy playing alongside what I've currently got on. So I'll give it some thought. It might be a week, once a week thing. Um, or we may change it to that two week schedule thing. But for now I'm going to see how we go. Um, so if it does change, it does change. But uh, I'll try. I always try and end up changing my schedule. So I do would like to try and not actually... Uh, keep changing my schedules every five seconds because um, I would like to maybe stay a little bit longer but uh, again it will see how we go I don't want to like put too much on my plate and then struggle to put out loads and loads of videos um, so we'll see how it goes again we'll see how it goes um, 
And um, let me know your thoughts, I guess. See what you guys think. But again, I'll, I will stick to... But the schedule is sort of my own thing. Um, I don't... I rarely include that in polls or anything like that. But uh, but we shall see. We'll see how it goes. See how the, we'll see where the wins takes us. But I'll keep the week thing as long as I can. And if it does go to two weeks, or maybe maybe we'll four series a week, then so be it. And then we just have to, just have to go with that. Um, but that's all for now. I thank you all for watching. Nevada and Palermo and Palenin. And farewell.